Update Wife 37 female cheated on me 37 male two years ago and we worked through it. Now I want to leave and I feel guilty. Original post Just over two years ago, my wife cheated on me with a co-worker at her work's Christmas party out of town. She told me immediately the morning after her, and to say I was devastated would be an understatement. This happened pretty much immediately prior to our country going into lockdown, so we were stuck together. I was in a bit of a daze at a time, and just kind of went through the motions. I was angry and miserable, but also wanted to understand why she would do it. Hence, it made sense to work through it at a time seeing as we were seemingly stuck together. To her credit though, she did everything possible to make it right. She quit her job, cut off all contact with a co-worker, offered to go to therapy slash counseling, and even admitted to what she did publicly. I never asked her to do this, and her mother and sister are very close to her and were appalled. She became much more loving and considerate and even offered to let me sleep with someone else. I was actually upset with the suggestion, but she was only saying it out of desperation. Fast forward to now, two years later, and by all accounts things feel like they're back to normal again. At least for her. She's no longer moping around the house, stepping in eggshells in conversation, breaking down when anything regarding cheating happens. She started crying while we were watching a soap where a wife cheats on her husband. Unfortunately, I feel like this return to normalcy has reopened a wound. I think about that night more these days than I did during the previous two years. I don't know why, but I think that society returning to a bit of a pre-2020 state has made me feel like I've gone back in time to that evening. I can't stand to look at her anymore. Not in a she disgusts me way, but in more of a why are you still even here kind of way. I feel guilty for wanting to leave now after all the work she put in, even though logically I know I shouldn't. I feel like I'm the bad guy for wanting to end a marriage after the work she has put in. I know people will be able to easily say she made her bed, etc. But I'm still really struggling with the idea of leaving her for her sake. I don't hate her for it, but I don't think I love her anymore and I know this will destroy her. Part of me wishes I was strong enough to have left when it happened. Anyone been in a similar situation or have any advice? Thanks in advance. Now for the top advice before reading the update. You can't help the way you feel. Her effort to make things right is completely admirable, but ultimately a relationship is two people and two sets of feelings. Staying for her sake helps no one. She will sense you are there for the wrong reasons and it will cause a brand new set of issues. If you don't love her, then leave. It will hurt in the beginning, but if you don't hate her, then you wouldn't want her to be deprived of love, and you deserve to be in a place where you trust and love fearlessly. Staying for the sake of never works in a good way. Be kind in a break, but don't stay for some misguided idea that you are a knight in shining armor. You will both survive and thrive. Thank you for your response. This has helped. And for what it's worth, calling it quits at this point doesn't mean that either of you have wasted the last two years. You've both clearly done a lot of work on yourselves, and that's great. Just because you're incompatible doesn't mean that you failed. You deserve to be happy. To Opie, I was cheated on right before the pandemic hit. I gave my now ex-wife a month to make things right, and she did the opposite. Almost two and a half years later, her and her affair partner are still together. We also have two children together. I look back and wonder why she didn't give our 16-year relationship at least one chance to survive. But now I'm honestly glad. I have a fair cost of the arrangement. I'm a better dad. Have a wonderful girlfriend that has shown me everything about true intimacy and loyalty that my ex was not able to. Also, my ex is still a decent mother despite being a terrible wife. It is still incredibly painful at times, but I am reminded that our paths aren't always straight and that my life is much better now than before. This is why cheating is a deal breaker for so many people. Getting past the betrayal is almost impossible even if you try. And the breakup would be the consequence of her actions. It is not impossible, as a great many do it, but don't share it all in the internet. The problem is that she did the work to get through everything and get better, but he didn't. And equal relationships don't last. What was he supposed to do in this scenario? She's the one who did a bad thing and needs to prove her remorse and that she's changed. Would you tell the guy who got beaten up and mugged that he should have done things differently?
a lot of people find themselves in your situation. They don't immediately leave because they've been blindsided and everything is too much to process. But once they come to terms with the betrayal, they can no longer look past it. They don't see the last two years as wasted. If you had left that night, you may still have been suffering from the trauma of betrayal. If you had a chance to work through it, seen her remorse and fallen out of love with her organically, it will be difficult for her. She's done all the right things since she cheated, but reconciliation is never guaranteed. It will be better for her too for you to split before true resentment sets in. Thanks, I appreciate the response. Whilst I'm glad I try to make it work, I almost feel like I've led her on by staying. It's not logical, I know, but I'm glad to hear so many people validate me that I don't have to feel bad if I leave, even now years later. Edit. Thanks for all the responses. I feel I had already made up my mind about what I need to do, but having people validate that I wouldn't be wrong for leaving has given me the push I need. I'll be talking to my wife later today. And now for the update. Thanks to everyone who commented on my previous post. I was surprised how much people cared about my benign marriage problems, but it helped me a lot. I checked this account out today to see what the responses were since last week and was taken aback by the number of people who wanted an update. The day after I posted, I talked to my wife and laid out my feelings. I mentioned some of the points that people on my previous post had articulated very well that resonated with me. I told her whilst I had forgiven her, I was struggling to forget what happened, and the fact that we were seemingly going back to normal had triggered something in me, and now I couldn't stop thinking about it. I said that whilst I do appreciate all the work she put in to try and save our marriage, I couldn't continue anymore. I mentioned a point that someone on my previous post said, that whilst we were in lockdown it almost felt easier to just ignore the issue to some degree, as I would always know where she was or what she was doing. But recently? For the first time since it happened, she's going into town and visiting friends and my mind is just running at 100 miles per hour while she's out. Who is she with? Why is she slightly late home, etc. But I haven't had to confront these feelings before. She cried. I cried. She begged me to stay. I cried again. We spent what felt like hours just sitting together in the living room not speaking at points. She asked the same questions multiple times. Do I still love her? Will we ever see each other again? Is there anything we can try to make this work? I think eventually she was doing it to delay the inevitable. She's now staying at her mom's house and I'm going to file for divorce. I know it's easy to lay all the blame at her feet when you're on the outside looking in, but I feel just as bad today as I did the day I found out what happened. I am heartbroken again. I know full well I'm going to question myself if I've made the right choice. You can tell me it is the right choice all you like. There is no way I will ever be sure this was the right choice. There are no winners with the situation. Everyone is miserable. Everything sucks and I'm here reliving the most painful experience of my life for the benefit of a bunch of internet strangers who probably only want to read about the drama and have no reason to care about me personally. I don't mean to come across as bitter. I had lots of genuinely supportive comments in my previous post. I'm just really struggling right now. I won't be using this account or responding here again after this post. Thanks to everyone who commented on my previous post. Sorry you're going through this, buddy. I truly hope you find happiness with someone else in the future. You couldn't actually say whether a relationship can recuperate until you've attempted. You put forth a valiant effort, and presently you finally accept reality for what it is, realizing beyond any doubt you put a significant investment of time and energy into moving beyond it. I'm here reliving the most painful experience of my life for the benefit of a bunch of internet strangers who probably only want to read about the drama and have no reason to care about me personally. This is so accurate when it comes to Reddit. Like most of the time, I make comments and I forget about it until I get a little notification thing. Unless it's something really crazy like under the floor hidden toilet girl. Most of us are here because we're messy people that live for drama. That's why the advice tends to be so repetitive. It's wild when people take the advice given here as the only way to go about it. I'm sorry you're going through this, OP. Good luck with your healing. Not to defend the drama-seeking Reddit users, but he did come to us. His best thing he should have done was seek some professional help. He's projecting his hurt slash anger on Reddit strangers. It went through something similar. You did the right thing, as difficult as it will be. 
I'm glad you updated us. I'm wishing you healing on your journey. Since you're going through something similar, I hope you're doing well and I hope you made a decision you felt best for you. I as well am wishing you well. My ex cheated. I separated immediately, but the guilt slash regret lasted a long time. I think it's just natural. Now for the last story. Update. I, 28 male, want to adopt my sister after my dad's death. My wife, 28 female, refused because we agreed in our children. Is there a way to fix this? Original post. I, 28 male, have been married to my wife, 28 female, for two years. We do not have kids and we do not plan to. But I have a little sister, 11 female. And due to the age gap, I'm more like another father than a brother. My father passed away from pancreatic cancer. There are two options for my sister. Either I take her in or my uncle, dad's brother. So we asked her who she wanted and she chose me. Here is the problem. My wife and I decided that we did not want kids. So she does not want to adopt my sister. Especially since my uncle can. But my sister has no parents now. I don't want to make sure she's able to recover and be healthy. And since she wants to be with me, I will not force her to be with our uncle. This is causing a lot of tension with my wife. Things escalated and finally told her I am doing this whether she agrees or not. She can either accept it or we get divorced. We have not talked since then. What can I do in such a situation? Now for the top advice before reading the update. Well, you have to choose. Unfortunate situation. I would say just one thing. I hope you can find another wife, but can't find another sister. For her to choose him, they have a bond, and that will be broken if Opie chooses wife. Plus, it's one thing to have not children. Another thing to drop a brother or sister due to that if they get along. Yes, these people are tripping. I drop her fast AF if I had a little sister and my girl made me decide me to choose especially at 28 years old. There are so many other options. Unpopular opinion, but Opie's wife seems a bit selfish. Opie, you are doing the right thing. Your wife may not want kids, but this is not you doing out of your way to adopt a baby or something. It's your little sister. She is family and she needs you and feels safer with you than your uncle. I'm really surprised at how insensitive your wife is being during a time like this. Life is unexpected. You are not asking her to be a mom, and your little sister likely would never view your wife in that way anyways. You are honestly better off without your wife. While I agree with the spirit of your comment, the wife is not selfish or insensitive. This will change her life totally, so she's entitled to pause and think. I don't think there's much else you can do other than wait for your wife's response. She doesn't want the responsibility of children, which you both agreed to, and now you are changing the dynamic of that because of this unfortunate situation. But circumstances aside, she is still entitled to not want children and to divorce you over it. I think you have made the right decision to stand by your sister. This is terrible that you have to make this choice, but the poor child needs you and I hope that even if you wind up going through a divorce, that your wife can understand why you have to do this. This, especially the you did the right thing by your sister bit. I would also like to add to this by saying, please be sure that your sister feels absolutely no responsibility in a divorce. It would be an awful way to put on your sister, so you have to be very careful with how you handle the situation and how you explain the divorce to your sister. Speaking as a child-free by choice woman, I think your relationship with your wife is finished. Do I think you should take in your sister despite agreeing to be child-free and having a good alternative? Yes, as long as you understand the consequences of that decision and are completely okay with them. You and your wife are adults, and you should be able to amicably and rapidly divorce. Truly, all of this should have been discussed and determined prior to your dad passing, and not during the weeping conversation with an 11-year-old girl, without speaking with your wife first. But such is life. You've let an 11-year-old decide, and I think it would be absolutely terrible to say yes and then change to no. I wish you, your soon-to-be ex-wife, and your sister all the best of luck. I agree, but I don't want to say that pancreatic cancer is often not diagnosed till it's too late. My grandfather was diagnosed and died within the week of his diagnosis. I'm not sure if it was the same for OP, but often this type of cancer is quick, so he may not have had a time to plan it all out. And now for the update. I talked to my wife again. 
she still refused as she does not want kids. So we basically decided to go our separate ways. She said, You really are choosing your sister over me? I told her, I don't want to go into this discussion again. But if that is what you want to hear, then fine. Yes, my sister takes the priority now. And I'm choosing her over you. This was our last conversation. And I have been living with my sister for one week now. Being a single fatherish brother is definitely challenging, but I'm really enjoying it. Sounds like the best outcome for all concerned. You dodged a bullet. I think your wife would have a point if you changed your mind and wanted to have a kid with her. But this is an emergency situation where a child needs help. Any other woman would say I'll divorce you if you don't help your sister. Seriously? She expects your sister to lose her father and then just go into foster care while you stand by and watch? Your wife is off the chart in selfishness and lack of empathy. GDFO is up. As someone is child-free, I get it. The wife saying you're choosing your sister over me is not okay. It is the obvious choice. The wife has every right to leave but no right to be upset with Opie's decision. She can be upset all she wants. She married a dude and both of them agreed no kids. Maybe to him it meant she didn't want to give birth. To her it meant no freaking kids, obviously. She has every right to be upset with him. That doesn't mean he's wrong. It means she's allowed to feel how she feels without some knob on the internet trying to invalidate her experience and feelings. You're right, she can be upset all she wants. But she doesn't get to hit below the belt with a BS comment like, You're really going to choose your sister over me? It's not a freaking dog in the backyard. It's his sister. A decent human being will realize that. She can easily point the situation out to any of the potential future husbands and gasp in despair after getting ghosted.